people it's your boy D welcome to the DA experience uh, today I got a movie review for you for the newest disaster flick Geostorm I'm also going to show you how to use a movie pass and how simple the app and the card really are uh, let's get right to it first off this movie was so bad I mean I've seen some bad movies in my day, but this one took the cake. I couldn't wait to get out of there. I was looking at my watch literally every 15 minutes. It was so cliched and so full of schlock that you were like, how does Hollywood keep giving money to these people to make these movies? I mean, it, 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 didn't, the, the, it didn't even keep you interested because it was like, what, really? I mean, it was so cliched. I was sitting there playing movie cliche bingo with myself like oh here's absentee father oh here's academy award winner who deserves better than this but we gotta put some kind of name on it oh here's comedy for no reason oh here's one note sarcastic character oh here's our know-it-all hero oh here's the know-it-all i'm better than you government official oh the government's the bad guy oh here's a storm here oh let's pick our enemies and go to these countries. i'm like i was just checking off boxes and I literally was in the theater. Somebody behind me started laughing because I'm going like this, like, oh, check, there it goes, check, there it goes. It was a complete waste of time. Uh, avoid this movie at all costs. It wasn't even, like, th like semi-good disaster flicks, like back in the 90s, like Volcano, or even The Day After Tomorrow, or 2012, for God's sake. I've seen better stuff on sci-fi than this. Snakes on a Plane is better than this. Damn What's it? Sharknado is better than this. And I think what it comes down to is that the characters are taking themselves way too seriously. It loses its camp. They're, they're just not doing enough to keep you interested in the movie. One of the things about these is that they keep scenes kind of fun, but it was so over the top that you're just sitting there and your suspension of disbelief is destroyed in the first couple of minutes of the movie. So in closing, avoid this movie at all costs. Since I'm doing different types of ratings, I'm going to use storms for this one. I give this one a half a snowstorm out of five. I, I I just can't go on enough about how bad it was. I can't even think of anything good about this movie. I would say Andy Garcia is okay in it. Like, that's the best I can do. But on to a better note. I picked up the movie pass. Um, finally got mine on Saturday. I ordered it back in August. Uh, and... How it works is that for 10 bucks a month, you can see as many movies as you want. If that sounds a lot like Netflix, that's because the guy that created it is also the, uh, half of the people that created Netflix. It used to be 30 bucks a month. Right now it's 10. They say that's going to be the way it's going to be. I doubt that is going to be the way it's going to be or how long it's going to last. But now is your chance to jump in there. You're getting into that Academy Awards season. You got Star Wars coming up, Thor, Ragnarok, Justice League. Um, Murder on the Orient Express. You got a lot of good stuff coming out over the next two, three months um, anyway. Uh, so now it's the time to jump in there and grab the card. It might take four to six weeks to get, unfortunately. But if you order it today, it is well worth it. What's going to happen now is I'm going to take you over to a video of how to use the movie pass. Okay, so once the Movie Pass app comes up, you're going to want to pick your theater. There's a long list, depending upon your area, you put in your zip code and it gives you a couple of different theaters to choose from. Once you pick your theater, you'll go through all the different movies. It gives you showtimes. Unfortunately, no IMAX or 3D, but you get a lot of different showtimes with a lot of different movies and you can pick. I picked Happy Death Day, which I probably should have done last night, and it'll come up with a screen and it'll have check-in. You hit check-in and then you go to the theater and when you go up to pay for your movie, you just give them your card, they swipe it, and you're good to go. Yeah, so in closing, skip Geostorm, get a movie pass, and I'll see y'all next time for my next review or workout video or whatever. This was the DA Experience. I'm your boy D. So long. I'll see you next time.